Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter number two of EDC book uh, by Mr. Bolstead. And here I'll be solving end chapter question number 27. And this is on the request of a student. The question is, has four parts and we'll discuss each part as we go along. So the first part, given P max is 14 milliwatt, this is the power rating of diodes, so 15 milliwatt for each diode. Determine the maximum current rating for each diode. So we have to find the current rating of the diode when power rating is given. And then it is saying use the approximate equivalent model. Now the approximate equivalent model is that we replace the diodes with the help of a battery. Now, since the, the, these two diodes will become forward bass during the positive half, therefore we can replace them with the battery as shown here. Okay. And now we know this formula that power is V into I and therefore current is P over V. So the current of each diode we can find I diode maximum would be P diode maximum that is the rating given power rating given divided by voltage that is this voltage 0 0.7 volt across each diode. And so 14 milliwatt divided by 0 0.7 will give 20 milliampere current. Now keep in mind this is the rated current rated current of these diodes not the maximum current of the circuit. And this is the confusion that the student had pointed out that in part two, question says, determine I max for the parallel diode. Now he has pointed out two uh, solutions from two different solution manuals. In one case, the answer is given to be 40 milliampere. And the other case, the answer is 36.71 milliampere. And the end of the chapter answer is also uh, in the book given 40 milliampere. But I think the, the first to 40 milliampere answer is wrong because the question is asking I max. Now, I max is this current. Actually, this is very confusing. If you just keep in mind that this is I, so the I current we have to find, and for that we'll follow the technique. We take the maximum or the uh, first of all we convert these into uh, parallel. So solving we get 4.34. Redraw the circuit with the equivalent resistance, and we naming the voltage across this uh, uh, to be VR. So VR will now from the circuit you can see it will be 160 minus 0 0.7. So VR is 160 minus 0 0.7 is equal to 159.3 volt. And now we can easily calculate the current through this uh, resistance which is I max V over R. 159.3 divided by 4.34 K is 36.71 milliampere. So this is the correct answer. Now part C, determine the current through each diode at VI maximum. Now this VI is for input and use the result in part B. Now VI max is actually V input max or V peak, which is 160 volt from this diagram you can see. This is 160 volt peak. And for this circuit, we had already calculated I max, that is the total current, which was 36.7. Now in each diode, this current will be divided into two parts equally. So we simply divide by two to get the diode current. So 36.71 divided by 2 is 18.36 milliampere.
Now the last part is, if one diode were present, which would be expected result? Actually, it should have been if one diode is present, what would be the expected result? Anyway, I have removed one of the diodes, so only one diode is left. And if you see, the, there is no, no change in the uh, current because the, this VR is 160 minus 0 0.7 here also, and the resistance remains same. So I maximum, I'm just calling it one just to distinguish. So I maximum one is VR, which is 160 minus 0 0.7 divided by 4.34. So same as we did in the previous slide. So the current is 36.74 milliampere. Now, what would be the expected result? So this is important. So keep in mind that the diode current rating of the diode we calculated to be 50 ampere. So this can only withstand 50 milliampere. And now 36.7 milliampere current is passing. So what will happen? The diode will burn. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.